Welcome to the Maths Made Easy tutorial on reverse percentages. In this video we're just going to go through a few examples. Uh, so we'll start with this first one then. A TV costs £160 and a 20% off sale. Calculate the original price of the TV before the sale. So if we've got a 20% off sale, then what we've got is 100 minus 20, which is 80%. So uh, this value of £160 is 80% of the original value. So if we divide by 80, uh, this will give us 1%, so 160 divided by 80 is going to be £2, and then we can times this 1% by 100, so 100% is equal to 2 times 100, so that's £200. Moving on to the second example then, a gym's membership increased in price by 15% to £23 per month. What was the cost of the membership before the increase? Uh, so this time, and we've got an increase, uh, so we can write this increase if it's increased in price by 15%, then it's 100% plus 15, so 115%, and that is equal to £23. Uh, so now what we can do is we can divide £23 by 115 to get 1%. So if divide by 115, uh, and that will give us 1%, so 23 divided by 115 is 0.2, or 20 pence. So 20 pence is 1%. Now 100%, we just times this value by 100. So 20 times 100, or, or 20 pence times 100, I should say, gives us 20 pounds, uh, and that is 100%. So the original cost of the membership was 20 pounds. So moving on, uh, the last example, Rahelio's new record for the 100 meter sprint is 10.8 seconds. This is 5.8% faster than his previous record. What was his previous record to two decimal places? Okay, well, if he's 5.8% faster, uh, then he's reduced his time by 5.8%. So that's 100 minus 5.8, uh, which is 94.2. So that's 94.2%. Let's use the other method, though. I will convert this into a decimal now. So 94.2%, that should say, uh, is equal to 0 0.9. For two. Now if we want to work out what his previous time is, all we have to do is divide his new time of 10.8 by 0.942. So let's use a calculator for that. So 10 point, oops, 10.8 divided by 0.942. And that gives us a value of 11.46 to two decimal places, or 11.5 seconds to one. So 11.5 seconds is his original time. Now reverse percentages is a topic that requires some practice. You can do so with our online exam. If you take the test, you'll find loads of different questions to have a go at and you get instant feedback on each and every question. So you can keep track of the areas that you're weakest at and where you need to improve and so on. Uh, so if you're interested and you want to take the test, then click the link below, it will take you straight there.